that right there is a clear sign that your SCR box is going bad. Um, the SCR box can go bad for many reasons, but if you pay attention to the video before uh, you heard it was making some kind of like rattling sound inside the uh, box, inside the unit. Um, that specific sound means that something is broken inside, but there is no way to repair it. There is no way to fix that issue because everything is sealed inside. If there is a way to repair it, of course, we need to remove the whole SCR1 box and send it to a special place where they do repair that specific type of problems. But as it is, if you have a problem like that, if you own a truck, then it's making that specific sound, especially when the truck is doing regent or whenever it is on motion, whenever you are driving the truck, all of a sudden you hear a rattling sound coming from the passenger lower area, it's possible that your SCR is going bad. But not only that, not only the sound, the pro it was the problem on this truck, we also had high pressure on the DPF and the DOC, and we have low emissions. All those problems are related to one single problem that is then the whole SCR box needs to be replaced in order to fix the problem. Um, as you can see, this truck has a specific mileage and uh, there is no way to know when it's going to fail. In the case of this specific truck, it's a local truck, so which means that it's going to spend more time idling than driving. Um, so it has very low mileage. But if you have a truck that is 48 states, you going all over the highways, all over the freeways, usually um, you're gonna have maybe like 500 to 700,000 miles to get this problem. Sometimes happens then in low mileage, these trucks are getting SCR box emissions problems. But in many cases, it's very, very similar. It's a very common point, very common mileage for all the trucks in our own highway application. Um, there is uh, not much we can do to make this truck work. Uh, to be honest, uh, on this specific truck had that problem, right? And it had the noise and it had the high DOC pressure. So um, I talked to the owner and I asked, I asked him, what do you want to do? Do you want to repair it? Do you want me to try something? Do you want me to see, you want me to see if I can make it last a little longer? So he said like, yes, yeah, so there is no money. Try your best to make it, to make it work, you know, or at least to, you know, to uh, make, do something, you know, so that way you can work at least for a, for a month or so. Um, and uh, yes, I did a DOC clean, um, the clean procedure, I don't remember the name exactly. The face plug clean, I think that's the name, DOC face plug cleaning. And uh, I did that five hours regeneration. Truck has to run for five hours until it's clean. And it ran the five hours and the noise, the rattling noise didn't go away. The rattling noise stayed, but the DOC pressure went down. Um, and after the DOC pressure went down, emissions were a little more stable because uh, all the heat in the DOC was letting escape was no longer uh, leaking, was no longer escaping after the DOC cleaning. So, um, and then that's how I, uh, may, I made that truck run a little longer. As it is now, uh, that truck hasn't come back. But of course, this is a local truck, so for this truck to have problems, it, it needs to drive maybe, maybe six months in a very, very high conditions, very, very rough conditions, because local trucks like, like that, like especially that truck, I mean, it's, it's local, but it's like, uh, we can say like off highway uh, most of the time, so it's never gonna drive more than 100 miles per day, so it's not, it's not gonna be a big deal anyway, but as it is, it's still okay, but uh, just to give you the idea, this is the point, the whole point of making this video uh, out of this situation. It's pretty obvious if you hear the sound of on your SCR 
you need, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have, uh, Volvo, Freightliner, Piddleville, Kangor, if there is any type of noise coming exactly from the SCR unit, there is a problem, an internal problem that needs to be addressed or repaired. Um, uh, and uh, there is not much to do since these are sealed units, they're not serviceable, um, they're one-time use, you remove them, and once you remove them, you replace them. There is no way we are going to just remove the specific unit and go to the dealer or go to a specific place where they sell parts to replace that specific SCR unit. So they made these trucks kind of like uh, one-time use and newer trucks are even worse than that. Uh, so that's how situation is going with this uh, heavy duty industry. But anyway, um, I'm saying then if you own a truck, if you have a truck, you have a friend that has a truck, or you're working on a truck, uh, then it's making a specific sound and you can hear. That means that your SCR box needs to be replaced. It doesn't matter if you replace it for a new one or a used one, as long as this SCR box that you're installing in the truck is in a good condition, uh, that's all you know, then matters. Uh, it, it gotta work fine. So it doesn't matter if it's gonna work one year or 10 years, as long as it works fine when you install it, you're okay. But it, 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 in some cases, it's just better to buy a new because at least you get the warranty and plus you get the peace of mind and you're putting something new on the truck. Uh, and when you get used, you don't have any type of, you know, idea on how long it's going to last. So all you know, and it's just working right now and you don't know when it's going to break. Uh, but uh, yes, um, uh, I get a lot of problems like that, the SCR problems and everything, but this specific one with the rattling noise is not, it's not something very common, like you're gonna see this problem day by day. So it happens to one truck and then it happens to another truck probably within one year or maybe in two years. And then it happened to another truck within another two years and then it happened to one truck like that. So it is not very common. So don't be scared about your truck then all of the sudden it's gonna make this noise and you don't know how this happened. So don't uh, be scared. I'm just showing you this video just to give you the idea that SCR problems are not just emission problems, are also mechanical problems, pieces then break over the time and need to be fixed, just like any other component of your truck. Um, well, uh, if I didn't explain this video very well, or there is some information missing, you can comment below. You can look for me on Instagram. Just be sure, I mean, I just wanna say it, if you look for, if you ask me anything on Instagram, just uh, have everything ready. Have pictures, videos, phone codes, uh, uh, anything else that can give me the idea on what you're talking about and what is your problem. A lot of people go to Instagram and ask me, hey, you know what, I have this problem. Okay, good, uh, I get it. Uh, but give me information i want to know information because i don't have the physical truck with me and if i don't have the physical truck with me i don't know what you're talking about uh, i need to guess what is happening based on your information so that's the reason why i'm asking you guys if you ever ask me something just bring me all the information possible pictures videos full codes uh stuff that you replace, components, anything, anything documented so that way I can see, I can understand, and I can get you the best answer possible and as fast as possible. Because otherwise I have to re research, I have to like try to think or try to, you know, like put everything together. And it takes me time sometimes. I, don't, I, I, won't, I won't answer in, immediately. I will spend one day, two days, depending because I still have to do other things. But just to give you an idea, so if you ever plan to ask me anything on Instagram, just be sure to have the information so that way I can provide the best answer as fast as possible. And you don't waste any time. And uh, I, don't, I don't really want to waste anybody's time, to be honest. But it's pretty hard for me when I don't have the proper information. So um, as it is, this is all for you guys. Um, 
subscribe to the channel there is always content and are going to be on i'm going to be uploading every time and uh, i'm trying to do videos as much as i can so that way you can get the information that you need and if i don't have the information here of course you can go to instagram and ask me if you want extra information or more precise information thank you for watching